Hi everyone. I want to talk to you today about the frame rate of the HDMI feed coming off of a GoPro Hero 11 Black. Um, you're probably familiar with the previous models of the camera, and while uh, it has historically reported that there are 60 frames coming off of the HDMI port using the media mod, um, analysis and investigation indicates that it's really doing frame doubling. So there's only 30 frames actually coming out of the sensor, out of the HDMI port and into your live stream setup. Um, even though it is reporting 60 frames per second. So every frame is actually being displayed twice. Um, here I have a GoPro Hero 11 with the media mod plugged in. And uh, the short answer is I think that there are 60 frames per second coming off of this. I'm gonna walk you through the, uh, how I tested that and give you some example footage. Um, I'm gonna be comparing it against a uh, Canon EOS R um, that we well know can do 60 frames off the HDMI port. Um, so if that's all you wanted to know, hey, go by all means, uh, time to bounce out of the video. But if you want to see how I determine that uh, may and see if uh, you agree or you disagree, um, maybe make some recommendations on how we could uh, test a little bit better. Um, by all means, stick around and uh, find out how I tested this. To take a moment and briefly describe the test methodology I used to determine what I believe to be actually 60 frames per second coming off of the GoPro Hero 11. Um, very briefly, I'll be using a, an Elgato Cam Link. Um, this is the 1080p model, not the 4K, but it does take in 60 frames per second. I'll be using these HDMI cables. I've got two of them because I've got two different cameras to compare and contrast. One has mini HDMI and the other one has micro. I can't remember which is which. Um, one goes into the GoPro Hero 11 and then one goes into my Canon EOS R. Um, this is a well-known camera that many people have successfully gotten 60 frames per second off of its port. Um, that's uh, standard and you can verify that. And so the idea here is that the test, we're gonna have one camera where we think we know what's going on. We know one that is conclusively is not having the frame doubling. Um, so as I mentioned before previously, uh, I do believe we are getting the full 60 frames per second out of this. Um, what we'll do is after I get it all hooked up and I'm gonna have to do this twice, one per camera since I only have the single cam link here, is I'm gonna be recording a test YouTube video um, uh, from the screen that's being played back on my Mac here. Um, that YouTube video has, um, it's looped several times, but it goes and it counts up from zero to 59 and has alternating dots on the screen. And you'll see what I mean when I um, bring up the overlay here. And what that does is essentially shows that, hey, if you are actually capturing each frame, there won't be any skipping. Now there might be some stuttering uh, and some ghosting. And some of those things are gonna be artifacts of like, uh, what I'd like to just consider sync. Meaning that if I was able to start the video and start the camera at the exact same time down to the very millisecond that uh, all of that, you should see something very straightforward. However, because there's going to be timing differences and those frames aren't exactly in sync, there's going to be some ghosting, but we shouldn't see any frames skipping. And if we do see them, um, it's only maybe going to be one or, or two in the entire 60, um, 60 frames. And that's just kind of that offset. It, it, it's it bound to happen and, and did happen in my testing. That being said, um, you shouldn't see that every single time, meaning you see like zero, two, four, six, and so on, or one, three, five, seven. And if you saw that, that would indicate that they are doubling up on the frames and they're just sending out that exact same frame twice um, and, and faking that 60, per, 60 frames per second feed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all hooked up um, and then I'm gonna record the screen and I'll, I'll put it over here and we'll kind of just walk through um, what we've got going on. And you can see for yourself why I believe that this is actually recording and outputting in 60 frames per second. All right, everybody, I've got the HDMI cable plugged into the GoPro, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut over to a recording of the screen. So what you can see here is I've got the camera going into uh, looking at the screen, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start recording in OBS. I'm gonna flip over to the um, test video I've got here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just play it um, for just a moment. All right, I went ahead and looped that three times. Um, and when we look at the footage here, we should be seeing that um, that color is alternating. We're counting up from each frame. Um, I think it looks fine. Um, I had some other folks look at it and they also agree. Um, so I think it's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like from a, the Canon's perspective and we can um, kind of have a A, B comparison and you can see if you really do think that it's uh, working exactly how we should be. All right, everyone. Now I've got the same setup with the same Elgato, the same laptop, the same video plugged into a Canon EOS R. And we're going to go ahead and see um, on the screen, and you'll be able to watch the, the, the feed coming off of OBS, um, which is recording that live signal just like it was with the GoPro and seeing if we have that ghosting or that double frame issue. 
Um, I know for a fact that we don't um, tested this, use this plenty of times, so there aren't any issues, but you're seeing right here that um, in fact there's not. And so I'm going to be bringing it up on the screen here, that comparison to AB, and we're going to be counting those frames. Um, but overall, um, impressed. This wasn't something that they mentioned as far as I'm wearing any press releases. Um, from a live stream perspective, the GoPro still does have um, the, the overheating. Maybe it will be a concern depending on the environmental, um, environmental uh, behavior of your environment. Um, what the temperatures are, if there's any airflow around the camera. So it is absolutely probably not a dedicated live stream camera, meaning I would not use it for your face cam for you know a 24 hour stream or something like that. It's probably not gonna work unless you've got really good airflow. You can watch some videos and I'll link those down in the description from uh, like DC Rainmaker as an example or Potato Jet, where he talks about some of this information regarding the, um, the overheating issue. I'm not concerned about it. I like having the option, the availability to have a small form factor camera for a um, B cam or, or some kind of other footage. Um, even though I do have several cameras, um, that GoPro being able to do that, being able to do it at 60 frames um, without having that duplication, um, I think is gonna be important to, uh, to many of you. Um, that's probably why you're here watching it. So if you have any questions, you've got, you don't think that it really is 60, I'd love to hear in the comments why. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching and uh, checking the GoPro Hero 11 out with me um, and looking and seeing if we've got that frame doubling issue.